<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Air Displays. This week we'll be furthering our adventures in Boyfriend Dungeon, so let's get into it. Let's see, we have an art studio. You turn onto the side street that houses Valeria's art studio. But smile, smile of your dreams. I can't talk. But the smile on your face drops off as you see Jake walk out. Confront him. You stand in front of him, arms crossed, trying to project confidence. Maybe just the tiniest bit of menace. Huh. Leave Valeria alone, dude. Oh, sorry. Jake says, get out of my way. I got distracted because I really want him to leave Valeria alone. You really don't know her at all, do you? She hates it when people try and protect her. Oh, yeah? I'm trying to walk down the street and you won't let me. You're a dick, dude. Can we skip the bullshit? You're just jealous. Also, she gets a really angry face every time she sees you. Like, bro. That's your problem, not mine. <laughs> he gives you a grin and saunters awake, whistling. You've got the menacing eyeballs down pat. You watch him walk away and turn to look at Valeria's door. You should just leave Jake alone and go in. Yeah, you will. Anytime now. I can follow Jake. Nah, man. I got a date. Oh, it's pretty in here. The studio smells of paint and some kind of woody spice perfume. Hey. Oh, I thought you'd be here later. Oh, apparently I had time to follow Jake. Whoops. Do you see Jake? Yeah, I talked to him. He's being ridiculous right now. Thank you for being honest with me. Speaking of which, she twirls a strand of hair nervously and looks away. Speaking of messy, I have something to show you. Huh? I want to trust you with a new part of me and I'm not sure I should. Do you really want to know who I am? I want you to be honest. Dude, like, it's a big step, but I want to take it with you. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, then come with me. You walk through Verona Beach with Valeria, holding hands in near silence. Both of you are nervous with anticipation. It feels palpable between you. you keep walking till you reach the ball. Valeria tugs you to the side. Oh, wicked! She searches your face as you take on the mural in the once plain wall. What do you think? It's beautiful, it's illegal, it's a lot. It's beautiful. Thanks. You really think so? Um, wow. Thank you. This is my last secret. Mine and Jake's and Jessica's. We were, we are, the Roses of Venus. Dude, you're famous! That's what we made together. We bring beauty and love to the streets around the world. You're one of maybe 30 people in the whole world who know who we are. It's a big secret. You had me worried, aren't you scared? It's a big secret. What? Being an internationally renowned art prov provocateur? Yeah. I don't know the word. Yeah, well, I guess I just trust you. That's my secret. This is who I am. Istanbul, Paris, Tokyo, New York, London, Shanghai, and Verona Beach. Our last job all together was a lure. I still can't pronounce that word. It got us a lot of attention. I think we're wanted by Interpol now. And Jessica wanted more of it. The more dangerous it got, the better. <sighs> I just needed to get away from it all, you know? Lie low. No chance of running into Jessica on Main Street. This is the opposite of her seat. <laughs> Ro Va Valeria looks at you. The truth of her painted on the wall behind, and possibly bright. Pummel strike. Heavy finishers confuse enemies. Or open-minded. Heavy finishers have a wider damage area. Uh, let's see that one. <laughs> Plus, I'm really sorry to like it here. More than like it, maybe. You stand together. People talk about the mural and take pictures as the sun goes down. Would you like to offer a gift? Yeah. Um, 
Surprisingly smooth. A soft, squeezable predator stuffed with love. Gourmet cupcake. Let me give her a cupcake. Okay, she's not into a cupcake, but that's a lot. That's, that's fine. It's thoughtful of you, thanks so much. You at home. Oh, I didn't immediately get a message. <laughs> I got spoiled, I guess. Oh, do I also win with Isaac? Even though we just had that party, so I don't think so. Okay, no. Alright. What's up, Sunder? The music is dark and coppery tonight. Flavored with industrial tunes. <laughs> Sunder returns from a break outside with a wild glitz in his eyes. Well, hello. Sticky, bleeding enemies move slower. Drain. Bleeding enemies do less damage. Um, move slower, I think. The music gains ferocity and speed as you dance. Eventually, the night draws to a close and the club empties. You stumble outside. The crowd of loiterers smells like gin and cigarette smoke. <laughs> Scream pierces the chatter. Someone call 911. People gather on something on the ground. Oh shit, she's dead. That's messed up, man. Go home, people. It's alright, ambulance is already on the way. Uh. I'll the energy for this tonight, take care of it. Yes, sir. Sunder stalks away towards Kick's cafe. Ask the bouncer friend for a follow him. Um, what's up? <sighs> the ambulance is on its way, and Sunder will pay for it from his tab. Sunder has a tab on the ambulance. Let's let's just think about that for a brief moment in time. Can't say more than that. You'll have to ask him. You go to the cafe. Smells like coffee and buttered pastries. Hmm. We're at one's your friend, right? We're closing soon, so hurry it up. <laughs> Thanks, Olivia. She waves you nervously towards Sunder, who's lounging in a corner. Hey. Sunder, you don't have to pose. He seems distracted and restless. Uh... There's something I haven't told you yet. I don't really know how to put this, but if you don't like me afterwards, I guess that's fine. Are you finally going to actually tell me that you're a vampire? Finally. Take your time, everyone has problems. Take your time. I'm not sure how to explain it, but... So, you know how sometimes you have a craving for, like, chocolate? Hmm. And then some people are made of chocolate? No, this isn't working. Let me start over. Once, there was a beautiful princess who promised a young man he could live forever. Hey. Speak of the devil. Hey, Mandy. <laughs> right? How is my timing? Were you standing behind us and I just... Do you just... Uh... Perfect, Mandy. Hey. Messy meal tonight, huh? Should have brought a bib. <laughs> Mandy, you are making it as obvious as possible and Sunder's just like, nah. No, I'm, I'm totally a human. What are you talking about? Ugh. You just came here to rub it in. <laughs> here it is, listen up. He'll be here all night the way he tells it. So I'll just tell you, Sunder's 200 years old. We use blood transfusions to stay young. So you're vampires. Mm-hmm. Okay. Was that so hard, Sunder? Sunder shrugs it off. <laughs> See? Being up front makes it easier. I like Erdis a vampire hunter. Vampire schmampire. Uh. I can't imagine why I want to be a, pretend to be a good boyfriend instead. Uh. Whatever. Time to go, Sunder. Leave your playmate to think about being your food. Hey! I never eat Erdis. She's special. Thanks, I think. I'm a vampiric sword, not a monster. Yeah, you, you tell her, Sunder. You should just own what you are, kiddo. 
All of it. Denial is a bad look. Eridus, don't listen to her, okay? I'll text you. I still want this to work. Somehow. I mean, you only have to put up with me for like, what, 50 years? And then you're gonna get super bored? Oh. Don't pressure. You kept a pretty big secret, so give her time to adjust. Sunder leaves, his eyes downcast. Hi, Mandy. Don't get me wrong, Eridus. The problem isn't just that Sunder's a vampire. Though, it can't help that you smell like dinner. But the main problem is he's selfish and fickle. I use this whole thing as you see it far away. Here's something to remember us by. Dark essence, the shadow lurking in every heart. Oh, I'm playing Kingdom Hearts now. She hands you a small pouch. It smells sinful. Thanks, it's not your problem. Can I be a vampire? <laughs> Mandy leaves without answering. <laughs> Yeah, that's what's up. Sorry I didn't tell you sooner. I was afraid you'd leave. Now you think what I am. Now you know what I am. What do you think? Apologize properly, bro. Mm hmm. Sorry, really. I guess I'll see you in the dunge. Yeah. And you want it. Ugh. Mm. I have a couple of words about Thunder. But I'm cool. If this was that kind of recording, there'd be a Hades gift right here. I'm cool. I'm cool. Everything's cool.